Hey guys, this is Tyler Dragon Tarot, and today I'll be doing Virgo's Halloween. So, um, let's see. What is going on with Virgo? Hope you guys are enjoying these. I appreciate the likes, the subscribes, and the comments. You guys are awesome. Um, so let's see. What is going on with Virgo? Black card jumped. Let's see. Okay, you got the Eight of Imps. I could read that card a couple different ways. I'm going to draw another card before I read that. Virgo. Too many cards for you. Alright. Okay, the Ace of Bat. I feel like that card's supposed to be over here. Okay. All right. So, I think's going on is you're about to get a message of direction because you are lost here. Your passion's kind of confused here, and you need some direction. But you're going to get that message. Because it's pointing there. And then this guy's relaying the message. And it, there's five of these guys with arrows. There might be some adversity getting to where you need to go. But trust your intuition. Trust your guides. And you're going to make it where you need to go. Now, where are you trying to go? What is this... That you, where are you trying to go? What is this idea for? What are you struggling with right now, Virgo? What are you struggling with? Okay, we got the six of ghosts. So, you're struggling with some kind of emotional thing. You're, um, and that could be... A family relationship, a partner relationship. It could just be keeping your emotions in touch. Um, let's see. I feel like you're struggling. With, you're struggling to find what you're passionate about. You're struggling to find what keeps you happy. You... And I feel like your spirit guides over here saying, hey, sorry, you're focused on too many things at once. And here's a message of your passion coming in. What? You need to focus on that. You're either going to give that to someone or that's someone coming into you or you're just going to have a realization of what you're actually passionate about. I feel like you're trying to dip your toe into the water. Too many things right now. And maybe you're just trying to find what you like. But that sounds exhausting. It, it really does. It. Yeah, see... The thing you like is right in front of you, but you're blindfolded. You're swinging and you're missing. See, you got so much happiness on this tree, but because you're blindfolded and there's someone... I feel like this person over here with the string moving the pumpkin um, is you also. You have the blindfold on you, and by blindfolding yourself... You're also keeping it a, out of swinging distance. Like, you're always going to miss when you have that blindfold on. Yeah, and your spirit guide's warning you here. It's all <laughs> because it's a cat. And, um, yeah, you need to take off the damn blindfold. Whatever... Whatever you're not realizing, whatever you're not dealing with, whatever you're not, you need, 
I, I feel like you need to meditate. You need to really think about things. Yeah. See, you have another blindfold on right here in the two of bats. You got a choice, and I feel like you got a choice. And you're choosing not to think about it. And. I don't know. Yeah. I mean that looks like you're in a meditated stance. But you're still not thinking about the issues. Because they're still just swinging by you. And you're not looking at them. And. Actually, like, there is that, like, you need, I think you need to let go of your problems. Um, you need to have some playfulness, let go of your problems, and I think that's how the blindfold's going to get lifted. See, you're... The spirit guide's down here playing a little bit. You need to relax. You're, this is a... It looks like a relaxing place to sit. And, you know, it's sitting there playing with the ball. Like, go have, have a little fun. You know, whatever your version of fun is. Relax. You know, maybe have a bath. I don't know why I'm thinking bath. But, um... But have a bath. You know, sit... Have some time alone. That that just came to my mind. Like, have some time to yourself. Whatever you like to do by yourself. I feel like, okay, this is coming to mind for some reason. You, I feel like you're trying too hard to please other people. I, I think that's the message here. That is what came to mind. You are trying too hard to please other people, Virgo. And you got to take time to please yourself. Sorry if that sounded weird. Um, I, but you do. You need to take time to make yourself happy. You have to... I think whoever this is supposed to resonate is a Virgo, but also a people pleaser. And, you know, that can be nice. But sometimes when you're a people pleaser, no one pleases you. And you got to remember, you're a person too. So take time to please yourself. All right. I hope that resonated with you, Virgo. Um, hopefully that message uh, got through to whoever that needed to get through. And um, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Thank you.